Welcome to today's Tech Talk with Wizzy Consult. My name is Stefan P and I'd like to welcome Mr. Leonard Schulenburg. He's the commercial director of Wizzy Consult. Also, I'd like to welcome Dr. Sven Gondron-Linke, who is the head of technical consulting at Volume Graphics. In the next 30 minutes, we will talk about inline CT, customized CT solutions, and automation concepts. And now I'd like to hand things over to Leonard. Hello, and thanks for this nice introduction, Stefan. Actually, um, I'm very happy to be here. The control is canceled due to the corona issue, but uh, of course there are many news and many innovations um, coming from our house and also from Volume Graphics. So this is a great chance to discuss um, this in detail. And what I will talk about today a little bit is um, uh, inline city or an example of an inline city in from the automotive world. I will also show you um, custom city solutions where we use um, a big roof mounted system to actually do CT of big and oddly shaped parts. And also you will get a little sneak peek into our new metrology line coming soon this year. And uh, we will round it off with a discussion about NDT 4.0 and how to actually leverage all the data that you generate with your CT system. So let me first jump into the inline CT um, concept. So we are talking about a CT system that is directly integrated to the manufacturing line and it's connected to an VG inline controller and, um, and worker system. And what we talk about here is an e-mobility uh, component. So it's also very relevant in today's industry. It's a rotor that is spinning inside um, the electric motor, which you can see on the left hand side. And what is actually to be evaluated is if there's any porosities in the lower or, or upper section of the shortening ring. So what we've developed as a, as a customized solution provider for, um, for this customer is a completely integrated and automated system. And let me point some things out. So actually parts get loaded on trays uh, to this slot and then get conveyed through a cooling channel. And then the robot takes over and places um, systems into the X-ray cabinet and they get inspected and the data is transferred to volume graphics where the decision is being made. And then the result is directly um, shown on the user interface and the part is placed into the right bin, OK or not OK bin. So this whole process is completely touchless for the operator. There is no need to have detailed CT knowledge. It's literally load a tray, press a button, and you get a result. So it's ultimate convenience for, for our customers. So, I want to introduce uh, this concept a little bit more because it's not your typical CT system. Of course, we have the automation portion, which is uh, very important and that, which is what uh, Busy Consult is famous for. We actually tailor the system to the manufacturing process, but this is rather straightforward. What's more interesting is that you have three loading positions um, and thereby three parallel um, operation, operation positions. So one is for loading, one is for unloading, and one is for the inspection on the inside. This is also why the system is called XRH Robot Star. But um, if we look closely on the right side, there are some more interesting things. So first of all, what you see here is two X-ray tubes. This means we inspect two parts um, and four ROIs um, in total, so two per part, um, with two X-ray um, sources at the same time. And what is even more interesting is that we use up to four detectors um, at the same time to actually read out all those, um, all those or, or receive all those images and then reconstruct them. This has several advantages from higher, um, if one of those detectors fails, um, you can just swap it out and you don't need to buy an expensive new one. At the same time, um, you have a faster readout speed. You can use um, use um, a shorter act or a smaller active area. There's many advantages of this this concept, and this image here, or, or also this one on the right, is actually visualizing how this works. The two X-ray tubes, and then by careful collim collimating, so you are reducing the amount of x uh, the amount of scatter radiation, you can actually inspect um, with those two tubes. 
And this is so important because the central beam of the tube has to be perpendicular uh, with the region of interest. A nice side effect is if one of your tubes fails, you can still operate because there are linear guidings um, on the X-ray tubes. So you can just go up and down and you lose, of course, 50 percent of um, the cycle time or it's, it's a 100 percent increase in cycle time, but you are still operational. It's a nice, nice feature. Um, but as we are here in a volume graphics um, meeting, you might ask, OK, how does it work? So our X plus or our X-ray system is actually delivering the geometry data um, and delivering all X-ray data into the CT inline controller. And this is where where the data gets then distributed to reconstruction workers and then gets feed gets um, through a feedback loop back to the inline controller and then gets pre processed. And finally, the customer only is interested in a good or not good decision. And this is how, it, of course, we had to um, pixelate a little bit here because uh, some of the information inside this this um, part are confidential. But we we wanted to show you um, um, the general working principle. So uh, several analyses uh, are run uh, throughout this part um, for for so cuts through the horizontal plane and also through the vertical plane. And in the end, we are also um, rolling out um, the rim of of the part in order to find defects that stretch through this circular region. So. This whole, um, this whole concept really is just one implementation of an CT inline system. What, really, what we realized is that um, most of the times, if we talk about inline systems, they have to be very customized, very specialized, because every manufacturing line looks different. So it's not that easy to just take a system off the shelf, plug it into a manufacturing line and hope that it works. This is why we wanted to show you today an example of an of an inline CT system um, as it's already integrated. Good. So wrapping this up, um, I come to the second case study that I want to show you. And this time I want to show you um, CT scans using gantry systems. And this might not be the medical gantry system as you as you heard of. In our um, our company calls gantry systems such roof mounted uh, inspection systems. That means um, big inspection rooms with um, a big part compartment and different part holders inside. And of course, the simple way um, of using that system also for CT is having a just normal rotary table on the inside and then having having the part in between the X-ray beam and and doing a, a normal cone beam um, um, felt camp uh, reconstruction. But I want to show you a different uh, way that we could use the system. So um, this is an application uh, inspecting rotor blades. Um, and this is where these systems really, really get handy because we are talking about 11 meter up to 11 meter long parts. Um, impossible to get this into a normal standard system. So with such a gantry system, of course, we could very well inspect them um, in, in a 2D environment. We could also choose different angles and all that stuff. But then we come to CT and uh, for this we developed a special part holder. Also here, unfortunately, we have to pixelate um, the object again, but I think it becomes quite clear. The rotor blade is clamped inside this part holder and these, these holding structures can fold away if needed or not. So what we can do now is we can spin the rotor blade within the, within the, within the beam and we can actually perform a CT scan, for example, of the root of the rotor blade and then perform a 2D inspection of the rest of the blade. This has tremendous, tremendous advantages for, for, um, for our customers who needed to do a CT scan of that area. Or a different way to do that, of course, um, this is another application where you can inspect cylindrical objects. And also here as a, as a dual tube option with a micro focus or mini focus and the detector on the other side. And by rotating the part here or rotating it horizontally, you can actually acquire very nice CT scans. And as you have a micro focus tube on there, you can also do that with very, very high accuracy, showing here some um, here a bond line between honeycomb and composite where you could uh, very well um, find um, delaminations or you can find uh, the bounding adhesives inside uh, the bond line. 
a very nice application, especially for aerospace customers, uh, space customers, but also in the automotive environment. Again, this is another customized, um, customized approach um, and a very unusual way to, to do CT, I would say. But I promised you uh, I, will I will briefly touch a topic that we all are interested about, Industry 4.0, NDT 4.0. And actually, our company has the thinking that um, all the data we generate um, actually has to be used for more than just an accept-reject decision. That means we have to take that data and we have to feed it back into, into the production process. So we've started this already a couple of years ago by, by developing our, um, our inspection cloud. So by uploading images of different sites into the cloud and having a remote inspection. Actually, this comes in very handy during the corona crisis when you can just inspect from home, potentially. But uh, many of our customers are also using this to actually hook up um, systems in different sites all over the globe to a central inspection hub. But also to feeding data back in, and I'm sure Sven from Volume Graphics will say a little bit more on how Volume Graphics does this, but also we are a firm believer that the information flow coming, for example, from a casting system and then being inspected by an X-ray system and finally going back into the ERP or MES system, this is the key of actually finding out more about the underlying root cause of a defect and then trying to do corrective action at the, at the cause, at the root of the, the issue, which might be the casting system, for example. So this is something we are deeply involved in. And also, for example, in our inline CT um, project that I've shown you in the beginning, we are using actually data from the CT scan to enhance the production process, to help the customer supply that data and enhance this production process. So I don't want to overstretch the time limits here, but last but not least, um, I want to give you a little input in, insight about our new metrology line. So as of this year, um, VZ Consult will also go into this area of high precision granite metrology systems with a line of three systems from very small to very big. And actually the first system uh, of this line is just being delivered this month. So it's a big granite based system with a nano focus and micro focus tube for high precision CT, nano CT metrology. So you will hear a lot more um, about, from us about this, this area, but I don't wanna, wanna use the time for this right now. I wanna thank you for your attention and I wanna hand over to Sven from Volume Graphics so that he can uh, tell you some more things about their exciting new features and developments. Thanks a lot for your attention. Yeah, thank you, Leonard, for this nice overview and this really nice uh, input into some case studies. And um, a warm welcome as well from my side to everybody. And I want to show you now uh, why to use software from Volume Graphics for all this. So the reason is, of course, that you will get hardware and software from the leading specialists. Um, we provide software functionalities for integrated system calibration and enhanced reconstruction. And all kind of CT-based analysis are available. On top, we provide a re ready-to-use automation solution for a production environment. And all this leads to a strong and close cooperation in case of customized projects from the very beginning. The benefit for the end customer is obvious. You will get an optimized and the best and fastest solution out of one hand. So some few words to volume graphics. Uh, the company has been funded more than 20 years ago. We have five locations in Europe, the US, Japan, China, Singapore, and regarding to Frost and Sullivan, we have a market share of around about 80% in the industrial city market. Today, we have more than 160 employees worldwide, and since the beginning of this year, uh, Volume Graphics is part of Hexagon. 
But now let's come to the 3D analysis functionality provided by volume graphics software. First of all, you have, of course, all the material analysis, such as porosity inclusion analysis, foam structure analysis, fiber orientation analysis, and on top, the metrology related modules like coordinate measurement analysis, the manufacturing geometry correction, nominal actual comparison, and wall thickness analysis. On top, you can do some simulation directly on the voxels, like transport phenomena and mechanical stress simulation. And you can provide volume meshing as an interface to FEM analysis or FEM uh, simulation modules. Last but not least, the reconstruction. So let's have a look where you find 3D computer tomography nowadays in the process chain from engineering to production. It already starts when you are designing your object. You create a CAD, perhaps even with product manufacturing information, and then you can already create a measurement plan for coordinate measurement and a measurement template on this CAD. As soon as the first prototype is produced, you will scan it in a lab CT. You apply these predefined measurement templates at nominal actual comparison, wall thickness, porosity analysis, create a new evaluation a template, perform a mold correction, and this enables you to get a good tool with a minimized iteration loop. So instead of trial and error, you get perhaps already in the second iteration a good performing tool. And then you can start with the production of your part. Then you scan it at line, in line, but not only with computer tomography, but of course as well with uh, surface scanners. And you apply uh, the predefined measurement template out of the R&D and immediately get a good bet decision and can provide all the data in your quality management system. And this is state of the art, so we can say production has really, really reached, uh, no, C, sorry, CT has really, really reached the production floor. So, in order to do that, we provide some automation tools such as templates, templates for regions of interest, measurement templates, bookmarks, and evaluations. And evaluation consists of region of interest, analysis definitions, measurement templates, but on top, all the tolerance definitions and local uh, logical decision trees for pass fail decisions are integrated and all the report settings. And all this can be as well recorded in macros to perform batch processing in the series of macro can be used to do all this 100% automatic in line with our product VG in line. So here you see an example of such a job. You can really realize complex decision trees and all this is easy scalable to be online with the cycle time of the production. You simply add another uh, workstation to do the analysis. So with this, you can realize this fully automated workflow, apply the evaluation from the prototype phase and do the inspection and the tolerancing and do the reporting. And it's not only possible to bring the measurement templates directly from R&D into your local production, but on top, you can share it worldwide in all your fabs, and this ensures that you use the same inspection all over the world. Here, again, the example of Leonard, the inspection of a uh, squirrel cage. This is done fully automated, so the reconstruction and the inspection is performed fully automatically. And beside, of course, the 3D inspection, on top we provide the possibility to do pseudo 2D inspection or 2D pro, uh, inspection 
for example, when it's uh, requested by the customer to confirm some old uh, 2D standards. And of course, we have the automated reporting. Leonard already mentioned uh, the recent developments due to Industry 4.0. Industry 4.0 is all about data exchange, smart data exchange between design, production, uh, machining, service and operation. And what does this mean for computer tomography? Our customers approach us and the wish is that all information about the produced components shall be available at a central location and it shall be easy exchangeable. And the traceability must be ensured by component type number of a high value or critical components, even by part number. And of course, customers want to have the possibility to perform realistic simulations based on real data. So they want to examine the effect of the defect. And there is a wish to perform design of experience in order to plan minimal needed amount of testing in advance. The big goal is to have a digital twin and to have direct feedback into production and input for virtual tool correction. What does this mean for computer tomography in special and non-destructive testing in general? So today, non-destructive testing provides a sorting of non-good parts. In future, we will have the development towards non-destructive evaluation. So besides this sorting, um, we are using the data which are provided about the product and the production process. This is used already today. An example is Volkswagen in Hannover. They succeeded in bringing down their um, reject rate from 5 to 2 percent, but all this was done manually. So the wish is to do this fully automatic, and that's a big idea of data mining via non-destructive destructive evaluation. So the goal is to use intelligent algorithms like artificial intelligence and neural networks to determine and extract correlations between the inspection results and product conditions. And this would enable to generate feedback loops and knowledge systems. And in order to do so, we have to work together with our partners. And here we are doing this with VisiConsult. We are sitting together in committees of expert and provide common interfaces between our software and the hardware and interfaces to ERP and MES systems. And here we see some examples of feedback loops that have been already realized. So the manufacturing geometry correction is such an example or a smart defect detection, um, which is just under development on our side. And in future, we would have on top the direct feedback to the production so that the inspection results are used to enhance the production itself. Thank you. And now I'm handing back over to uh, Stefan. Thank you very much, Sven. And thank you very much, Leonard, for your presentations. Leonard, one was the last question. Why does VisiConsult rely on volume graphics as a software partner? So the, the main reason is, of course, you have a great product, but what we like a lot is this direct contact also between Sven and me, between his technical consulting team. What we like a lot is, I mean, our, our customers demand very dynamic responses from us and volume graphics is really helping us to achieve that. If there's an immediate demand, even if it's Friday evening, um, we can talk about it as partners and we work both hard to deliver a superior solution to our customers. And this is what we really, as a, as a family owned business, what we really need as a driver to, to satisfy and to be successful for our customers. Thank you very much. Perfect. Um, if you as our valued visitors from this webinar have questions, and I'm sure that there will arise a lot of questions uh, for Leonard and for Sven, 
please send us an email. Um, you can send an email to Volume Graphics under consulting at volumegraphics.com and you can send an email to info at visiconsult.de if you have questions uh, to Lena's presentation. Please be so kind as to mention Tech Talk with Visi Consult in your email. But don't worry, you don't have to know this because after this webinar you will get an automatic email. There will be the both email contacts included. You can stay in touch with Volume Graphics. You can subscribe to our free newsletter, which you can get on our website. And of course, you can follow us on LinkedIn, on Twitter or on YouTube. And now it's time to say thank you. Please visit uh, our website to join uh, our further webinars and of course stay healthy and goodbye.